Hello everyone, this is Ali and today we are going to cook something very nutritious. South Indian dishes are always at the top when talking about a healthy one. So today's dish is Paniyaram, one of my most favorite South Indian dishes but with a slight nutrition twist. And at last, we are also going to have a healthy drink but that's gonna be a surprise. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are with our ingredients. Today we are going to make oats paniram. Oat paniram is always uh, normally made with suji or rava, also known as semolina. So today we are going to make it with oats. So I have taken one and a half cup of oats which is roasted and powdered. I powdered it, you can see it. And now I am going to add one cup of semolina here. We are going to add one cup of curry. If you are having some problem mixing it, you can add the water just now at this point. So we'll add some water here. So here, I'm taking one cup of carrot and now I'm going to add this carrot. This I have taken grated carrot. We have to make this a uh, semi-thick liquid so that it's firm and uh, and it's made easy. According to your taste, and I have taken three to four chilies, and I'll add them. These beautiful and colorful veggies give a beautiful look to your paneer. And as I said, it should be a semi-thick liquid. We will add more water to it to give it a perfect consistency. Properly, you have to mix it, and it should get a perfect consistency. I have mixed this for a particular time and I have more, added more water at the last to give it a perfect consistency. Now I have added all the ingredients and salt and this you can add to your bio base. Cover it and give it a rest for 20 minutes. Now here I have taken a turka pan and we will add some oil to it. First of all we will add oil. A good amount of oil is needed. Now. First, for, uh, at first, the gas should be on low flame and we will add some chana dal to it or gram dal. As it's a South Indian dish, so for tempering, chana dal is very much compulsory. Chana dal, battle for some time. Now I, I have put the gas on high flame. Now you can see these gram dals have started crackling. So now here we will add the rye. Please be careful when you have added the rice seeds because they crackle and come out a lot. Now they have crackled a bit and uh, means that they have started crackling. Now I will turn off the flame. And here I will add curry leaves. But be careful, I will add the curry leaves at the last. Now we will make the chutney for a paneer. So let's take a grinder. I have taken some chilies and some garlic. You can see it. Now I have taken some roasted peanuts for it. These are almost half a cup roasted peanuts. I'll add them. And a little of grated coconut. And at last for these, I'll add salt to it. Our chutney is ready. Now we will temper it. Now I'll turn off the flames and here we'll temper our chutney, coconut and peanut chutney. So first of all I'll take some oil. I've taken oil and the gas just now is on high flame. Now here in this I'll add some rye. Now, uh, here you can see that our rye has almost started tempering and our oil has become hot. So now we'll add some sliced curry leaves to it. But don't forget to be careful. Now our uh, gas stove is on low flame. Now at this point I'll add my chutney. Add some water to our chutney. I have taken water in the same bowl. Now I'll add the water. 
and let's mix it. It's almost cooked and it's, uh, we have to give it, we have to leave it for just like 5 minutes and after 5 minutes we just cover it. So now 5 minutes and done and I'm going to cover my chutney and switch off the flame. And then now we are back to our paneer and batter after 20 minutes. Let's check. It's time for cooking. Now here we are back to our paneer and stand. Now we'll just oil it. For oiling we need our oil brush and some oil. Oil it. Now let's bring our batter and now here. I've added, I've put my, my batter like this. Now, likewise, I'll put my batter in all the circles of sand, okay? So now you can see I have added the batter in all the circles and we'll cover it and leave it for 6 to 8 minutes as the pan was preheated for 5 minutes. Now let's cover it. Uh, after 6 to 8 minutes, we are back to our paneeram and let's check it. Using a butter knife, we'll turn it. Okay, I can see that it has got a beautiful brown color. Now we'll turn all of them like this. And after 1 or 2 minutes, we'll take it out. After 1 or 2 minutes, we are back to our paneeram and let's check it. Okay, that's so beautiful that it's turned out so beautiful. We are going to make our special drink that is banana papaya and with a little twist smoothie. So I've taken a jar. I'll add my papayas to it. Okay, I have taken a small uh, a small papaya that was uh, very small. I've taken one and I've taken one banana with it. As we are making smoothie, we need to add curd in it. Okay, and now. I have take, uh, taken some soaked chia seeds which uh, which I have soaked last night okay? and uh, I'll add them and they are very very nutritious so I'll add half of it this gives a beautiful look to a smoothie and very good taste now I'm going to take add uh, 1 or 2 pinches of cinnamon powder ok I just added 2 pinches now I'll take some honey and add it in my jar ok so I'll take just 1 spoon of honey and I'll put it in the jar for a good consistency, we'll add water, but after the first grind. Now, let's grind it and plate our pandan. So, we'll garnish it very gratefully. First of all, I'll just put some curry leaves for garnishing it like this. And, I'll add, or I'll put my chutney in the bowl. Beautiful, soft, and you feel it and put my chutney is ready now. And we'll add this. Now, these are my pangalama and my banana papaya smoothie ready here. Thanks for watching. We got our oats pangalama and papaya banana smoothie ready. Food is always important when it has nutritional value. So, these are the nutritional value of oats pangalama and these are the nutritional value of papaya and banana smoothie. Thank you for watching and I'll be waiting for your lovely comments. Bye bye and also. Eat healthy, think healthy. Have a nice day. Bye.